line to me is cleaned up. Seems like he's got more in the tank. He really does. Uh, you know, obviously, not only does he make our team better, he makes our practice better. So now you you have competitors on that second unit that are really coming after the first unit. And it's great stuff to watch and see. Really said that this the team has had trouble over one three, four times this year. Do you think they've learned that lesson? Who knows? I mean, we're better when we think, uh oh, we may get beat, we better play. Uh, and the other way is you start playing and they play well, and all of a sudden the team will make a run, and we've wilt. Will the guard, will the every position, really. But, and, uh, but we're getting better. The teams, our team's improving, and every game's a challenge. This is going to be a physical. They, they gut it out, they play hard. Tony's got them playing in a way, they play a great zone. They're man to man and how they play, play pick and rolls. Uh, they'll trap the post. Uh, they'll put a, a 2 2 1 press back to a zone. This could be a game where he comes out and says, We're playing zone from the tip. Um, and it's a good zone. It's a really good zone. And so, um, you know, they get speedy guard. They're, they're, Sullivan can score 40. Uh, I shouldn't even say that. <laughs> he could. So. Is this a good test for those guys? I mean, this is a team one on the road to be handled. Is it a good test for how yeah, seriously we, we, we were? It was a close game at halftime, and then we spaced it out in the second half. But this, this again, will be a, a, a challenge for us. I mean, there's no. You, you're seeing Texas A&M beat Missouri yesterday. There, this, this league, you're seeing Arkansas get beat by 25 by South Carolina. 25. Then come back and be up 20 some on Florida. You see Mississippi beat this team by 25 and come back. It's it's just crazy. We're all the same, and so it's just I'm not worried about anybody else. Like I didn't see the Indiana score till this morning. Didn't see it. I saw the last couple of plays. But this is about us getting better. And we don't have to worry when anybody else. It's just just get us better, and then we'll see where where that takes us. Uh, what have you seen in the second half of the Auburn game down there that you'd like to see for 40 minutes tomorrow? Our, our guard play, especially Ryan, was, was physical. He was down. He wasn't standing up doing that stuff. He was down and physical, taking contact, making baskets. Um, and uh, uh, Kyle Wilson in the middle of the zone was a killer. Uh, Alex on the baseline of the zone was a killer and made them play man to man. So there were some good things from him. Well, Willie's absence have maybe ultimately been a good thing for the team as a whole in the long run because Kyle seemed to sort of step up during that. Kyle time. and Mark, Alex, and you know, it gave uh, Jared a chance to get some quality minutes. But th those aren't the issues. The issues again, what I keep saying, players on this team are trying to establish who they are. Versus, I know what I am, and I'm going to give this to the team. It's a natural thing. It's not a selfishness. It's natural. We have to get by that. Uh, they're going to see tape today of two plays. The kid from Indiana losing the ball and running down and blocking the shot. The kid from Michigan losing the ball and then running down and stopping the basket. Our guy would lose the ball. Where would his head go? You all know it. Your head would go down, you jog back, and you lose. And again, that is because I'm into how I'm playing more than I'm into how the team's doing. And it's natural. I'm not upset. I just keep pointing it out to them. Every time I point it out, I point it out. Now, either they begin to accept and, you know, we're pretty well squared away with how we need guys to play, so it should be in that direction, but you don't know. We just don't know. Cal Julius was saying, and it's kind of along the same lines today, that he felt like early in the year that maybe they were trying to live up to, you know, last year and other things that maybe now they've settled into feeling more like, you know, hey, we just got to play who we are. Yeah, play I, I would say, and probably like me as a coach also, you know, you get used to, for seven years, walking on people. And then you go into the game and it's touch and go the whole game, you got to coach a little bit. You got to be a little different. Knowing, don't get excited that the game's closer and you think it should be 20 and it ain't going to be 20. It's going to be four. I've coached the game. So it took me for a while to get my feet under me too. So it's not just them, it's all of us. Uh, Tony's talked about what he took away from you and he worked for you and it helped him in his career. How is he different from you as a head coach? He's about 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> uh, you know, he's his own man. I mean, I, I, I'm going to tell you what I do, giving away secrets here. 
when we're getting ready to play a team, this is how I prepare for the game. This shows you the respect I have. I watched our game with them the last time. We played them twice, I'll watch them twice. Then I watched their game against Auburn. And I watched what Tony did to guard them and what he did to exploit them. Then I go on to other games, always. So he's the guy that the stuff that happened for us at Mississippi, that was Tony. I called him the night before the game, and he convinced me to switch out on that kid every time. We were on the phone for a half hour. I said, are you sure? He said, I'm telling you. Watch our tape again. And I watched it again. And, and that night, without a practice, that's what we did. And so I have great respect for him as a coach, obviously as a person, as a father, as a husband. And, you know, I've known him since he was 15, 14. So he's still assisting you. Yeah. Well, hopefully we're assisting each other. You know, I'm calling him at times to, if he needs my help in anything. But, uh, you know, I just have the utmost respect for him as a coach. And, I, you know, I know him as a person. I know how competitive he is, too. He wants to win this game. You know, I know. And, and that's fine. Let's go play the game and see what happens. I hate playing friends. Um, I hate playing somebody that I love. Can you imagine? If we lose, I'm going to be sick. If we win, I'm happy, and then I look at him and I'm not happy. So I don't even get to enjoy the game. Either way, I'm going to be sick. So that's why I get the game over with next. Who's next? So. Speaking of who's next, are you worried about your team with that head of Florida? Is that the next game? <laughs> well, if I don't know, they probably don't know. I don't even know if they know what position we're in in the league. Half of my staff said, I bet you they don't even know where we are, where we, you know. So these guys are oblivious. And again, a lot of it is they're trying to establish themselves. So the only thing they know is a four-foot circle around their own body. That's what they live in. And they know all that stuff in there. But outside of that, it becomes a little dicey. But it's... I keep saying it's, it is natural. Michael Jordan took three years before he thought about championship. He tried to establish who he was. So did Magic, so did Bird, so did Kobe. They all did. I have to establish who I am as a player. Now let me worry about being a champion now. Let me worry about getting that chip. These guys, we're, that's what we're trying to address and break through. If it takes three years, though. I told them. How long does that take? Long. Got one. Well, we don't just have one. I told them. This thing may not be a year. It may be two, it may be three, it may be four. It doesn't matter. It's, it's going to be what it is. And so the, it's addressed. Some guys will continue to fight. In other words, I'm not giving in. I'm not surrendering. But you all, what happens is they stand out. You see it. Everybody sees it. And so we're just going to continue to coach and push them and you know, try to continue to get better and try to teach life lessons. I mean, every night going through different things to talk about different lessons. I'm not watching game tape with them. None. The staff is doing that. I don't want them to see me in a basketball sense right now. I'm just teaching life skills. That's all. How to deal with this. How to deal with adversity. How, what, what does it mean to love? Tell me what it means to love. I mean, we got a lot of stuff. These kids are 18 and 19 and their whole life has been in that four foot space. Right there. And so this has been like I told my staff, write this stuff down because if it works, let's make sure we remember what the next game is. <laughs> <laughs> How different is that for you to not watch film? I've never done it before. I'm doing stuff this year from hot monitors to, you know, we're just doing stuff. I'm doing anything I can to try to tweak, to try to get them to take that jump. And, and, and But they all have to take it. we got a couple that are not. Are you... Are you reading books? Uh, are you I read talking books to sports psychology? What, I do what are you pulling from? I talk to Rotella. I talk to Ken Blanchard. I'm reading three books a day. I'm taking stuff from everything I'm reading. Uh, praying in the morning. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, you know, just for strength to, to keep going for these kids because they deserve to feel the joy of doing something unique. It doesn't matter where you are right now. Where do you want to be? What are you willing to accept you are so you may change? we got guys that won't accept right now. Uh, I really want that. What are you willing to do? I'm not willing to do anything. I just want it. Well, <laughs> then you must go play the lottery because that's the only way you're going to win something for, with not doing anything. So you, you have, what are you willing to give up? What are you willing to sacrifice? This is all life lessons that these guys are trying, I'm trying to teach. That's all it is right now. I mean, I'm going to go in the room, and i got three lessons I'm going to give them before practice, and it's not basketball. 
I'm doing it before every practice. I'm doing it every at, and if I feel it in the evening, I get in my car and I meet him in the lodge, and I and we pull out books and we start reading. I'm just doing life skills. That's what this team needs. Um, you know, it was great seeing John Wall. How much you talk to Eric three, four times a week? How much you talk to uh, uh, Demarcus? Great. We, he and I talk all the time. Those guys loved each other. What about last year's team? They loved each other. What about the year? They loved each other. See, if you love and truly love, that means it's more about the other guy than you. Then you have discipline. The reason you have discipline is you're playing for him because you love him and you got his back. It's a hard thing now. Ready? Four foot circle. It's not been about that. And that's what we're, we're trying to get on. I said, when you, you feel that joy which you control, it's by being grateful, by letting people know you appreciate what they're about and who they are. When you're making things about everybody else, you become joyful. When it's solely in that four-foot circle, when it doesn't go right, you watch this one. You ever see this? <laughs> and that's, we got a couple guys. We're trying to get them out of that four-foot circle. Thanks, guys.